Today I'm going to do the same thing as last week. Uh, apparently this uh, this glitter bra thing has exploded because everybody that's uh, not a male in the thousand mile radius of my house wants one on the front of their car. So I'm going to be doing this Honda CRV, and this time I'm not going to be going down with a black uh, bra first. I'm just going to do the clear on this one. So. I've got the same thing. I've got the uh, uh, three tubes of, what's it called? Tulip. Tulip. Three tubes of tulip glitter, one 22 ounce can of clear Plasti Dip, and I'm going to add 22 ounces of xylene to it and um, mix that thing up and spray it on here. Now last time um, I did go kind of quick, and I know in the video it kind of looks like I just made one layer on there, so I didn't really give a distinction as to how many layers I put. So each time I do a layer this time, I'm going to film the layer through and show you where I stop and let it dry so you can see exactly how thick I'm laying this down so you don't get any runs. All right, one 22 ounce can of clear Plasti Dip. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful, you don't want to shake these when you pour them out because if you do, it's just going to sling the dip all over the side. Clean stir stick. Basically, I just want to get anything that's left over in here, scrape it off so it gets into the xylene and I can pour it in here without having too much waste. Three more tubes of Tulip Fashion Glitter. There's all three. <laughs> and we're just going to make sure this gets nice and stirred up in here. You don't want any clumps. You want to try to avoid any kind of clumping in there. Let that settle for just a second. Now you see how, as soon as I stop, the glitter doesn't immediately sink to the bottom. If you were to reuse regular automotive metal flake, this would just start to settle. Now over time, I'm sure you would get some sinking to the bottom, but with this stuff, it's so small, it stays buoyant in this uh, much thicker Plasti Dip, even though it is reduced. Now while you're mixing this up, I don't know if you can see the swirls in there. Can you see mm -hmm. that? That, even though it looks like it's not thoroughly mixing, when you put this into the gun, it's still going to spray out evenly. All right, so I'm going to go down with coat number one. We're going to do just a light layer, then we're going to let it dry, and then we'll come back for number two. Alright, that's all we're going to do. We're going to put some fans on this, let it dry, then come back for coat number two. Alright, coat number one is dry. If you take a look at the cross, the front there, it doesn't really look like much. So pan across one time and then come back. Alright, stop for a second. So you can kind of see little gritty to it. Now look right here. Can you see this in the, you see the little glitter there? Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
Come around the other side. Come around the other side. See, you know, that way. Can you see it better that way? Yeah. Okay. Because that light. Okay. Now I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down with coat number two now, and I'm going to do the same thing, a very light coat. Yeah, it out. That's all we're going to do for coat number two. Alright, this is after coat two has dried. You can start to see the glitter become a little bit more prominent now. Alright, now I'm going to go down with coat number three. I'm going to continue to spray the bumper and the front of the, uh, the car normally. I'm going to avoid all this area because in the end I'm going to go down with one thick layer here. Alright, coat number three is dry. Let me show you what we got here. And you can see that it's a lot more glittery and it's really starting to come together. And I have had the question how many coats I'm using on this. Basically, since I opened a 22 ounce can and dumped glitter in it, it's really not good for anything else. So I'm going to use the entire can, and that just means I'm going to go until it's gone. I'm going to be sure to uh, watch how much is actually in the gun. So when I, I'm towards the end, I know when to go ahead and spray this top here. Alright again, that's going to be it. That's all I'm going to do. Depending on how much I have left in my gun, I'm going to look at it after I've sprayed the bumper. If I have more left over, then I might, uh, I might hold off and do another coat before I get to this hood. I kind of want to run an experiment. I'm just going to let that dry on there. If uh, I've got enough in there to go down with one more thick layer on the top here. And I want to see how deep it will penetrate. If this is a thick layer and it dries, uh, and I go back over it with another layer of diplozylene in it, and it melts all the way through that, that's great because that means that's more layers you can put on there without having to worry about taking the tape off too early. So... 
I'm going to let that thick coat dry, come back over with one more thick coat to see if it pulls it up or not. Alright, this is going to be my official last coat. I'm going to go ahead and hit this first, get it good and saturated so I can get this tape off of here. I'm not going to move too fast, I don't have to worry about running and uh, knocking myself down to try to get this tape off of here. This is going to stay wet for a good second. So I'm going to hit this first, come back, do the bumper, and once, that done, once that's done, then I'm going to get this tape off of here. And um, hopefully, since I did that first layer, it won't... Uh, it won't stick when I re-wet it, but uh, yeah, this would be a good learning lesson because I don't know how this is going to turn out with putting that thick layer down and then trying to uh, put a second thick layer over it. Six or seven? Six or seven coats? Seven. Seven coats? Okay, seven coats. We did two really thick coats on the top here to try to help it keep up with all the other coats we put down here on the other surfaces. And I gotta say that it turned out to be one shiny bastard. Unbeknownst to me, while I was out, my mother ventured into my garage and um, got a hold of my bucket of clear plastic dip with glitter in it and decided to dip her fingernails. I had nothing to do with this. So, I don't know why. Meth is a hell of a drug.
tried it at home. She did it. Don't blame the puzzle man, though. You're going to die. <laughs>